You can have the best looking site in the world, but if your hosting is slow or unreliable, none of that design work really matters. Your business basically stays invisible. So when I was launching my business, I knew I couldn't risk a bad host. I kept seeing Bluehost recommended everywhere, so I decided to finally put that to the test myself. So in this video, I wanna walk you through my personal experience switching to and using Bluehost, what I liked, what didn't go so smoothly, and whether I still think it's worth trying. So by the end, you'll have a clear picture of who Bluehost really really is best for, and whether it could be the right fit for your next website project. All right, let's dive in. Now, if you're not familiar with Bluehost, it's a well-known web hosting provider that caters to a wide range of users, from first-time bloggers to major companies manning sophisticated websites. And after giving it a try myself, I've begun to understand why so many individuals and businesses rely on it. See, Bluehost provides a full range of hosting options, including shared, WordPress, VPS, and dedicated server plans. Uh, one of the standout features for me was that they include a free domain for your first year. It's an easy, one-click WordPress installation and a complimentary site migration tool that takes the hassle out of I don't know what's coming up next because it's not scrolling fast enough, and a complimentary site migration tool that takes the hassle out of moving from another host. Another reassuring factor for me was that Bluehost is officially recommended by WordPress.org, which gave me confidence in both compatibility and reliability. And if you ever need help, their customer support is available 24-7 through phone or live chat. It definitely takes some of the pressure off during setup, especially if you're new to building websites. Now, getting started with Bluehost is pretty simple. After you pick a hosting plan, you'll go through a quick setup process where you can register a new domain or connect one you already own. Then from there, Bluehost gives you the option to install WordPress automatically with just one click, which is a big, big help if you're not familiar with the manual setup. Then once you're in, the main dashboard is where you manage everything, your websites, domains, email accounts, and more. The interface has been updated to be more user friendly, so even if you're new to hosting, it doesn't feel overwhelming. And if you need more advanced controls, no worries, you can still access the classic cPanel under the advanced tab. Bluehost also facilitates you with essential security features that every single hosting service should include. You'll get free SSL to secure your site, regular backups, DDoS protection, malware scans, and a built-in firewall in every plan. On the performance side, there's built-in caching to help your site load faster, plus a staging environment that lets you test updates safely before pushing them live. Then when it comes to plans, Bluehost offers five hosting types, standard hosting, WordPress, VPS, dedicated, and cloud-based services. It, this makes Bluehost a versatile pick for a broad range of users, from those who just need the basics to full professional web developers. Now, starting on Bluehost's starter plan, with a little less than $4 a month, it can support up to 10 websites and get you 10 gigs of storage, as well as a free domain name in your first year. If you're looking for more flexibility, the business plan upgrades the features of the basic plan Plan, offering hosting for up to 50 websites and 50 gigabytes of storage for about four bucks a month. On top of that included is domain privacy protection and daily backups for the first year, which gives you a bit more peace of mind. Or if you're managing an online store, you can opt for one of their commerce packages. For around $10 a month, the e-commerce essentials plan, for instance, will get you 100 gigs of data, and support unlimited products while providing additional features you might need to manage your business, like secure online payments and email campaign management. And those needing greater performance or scalability should look at Bluehost's other plans, for example, their VPS hosting plan, with prices ranging from five all the way up to $50 a month. This gives you greater control with root access, unneeded bandwidth, and high-speed NVMe storage. It also includes a cPanel license and free website migrations, which came in handy actually to me when I transferred a client site over to Bluehost. Now for maximum performance, Bluehost's dedicated hosting plan starts at about 144 bucks a month. This option is perfect for large-scale projects that require top-tier speed, enhanced security, full customization capabilities, as it gives you full use of a dedicated server. Now, if you've heard something here that stood out and you want to try Bluehost for your next website, then you can get started using the affiliate link down in the description below. You'll get a discount for all of their plans, which you wouldn't find if you went directly through their website. Now, in my experience, Bluehost does pretty well in terms of services for people looking to scale or customize their plans to fit the unique goals of their website. Though, if the site you want to build doesn't need to look super fancy or have any complicated functions, then honestly, you might be able to get away with using a simpler, cheaper platform. But for those looking for a little more in terms of features like storage space and high amounts of RAM, Bluehost is probably the way to go. Though, uh, one other issue I want to mention, and this really applies for shared hosting in general, not just to Bluehost 
hosts specifically, but generally the downside of shared hosting is that if you get too much traffic on your site, the server will be at capacity, which will slow you down as well as any other websites that share the server. So if you're anticipating lots of traffic, or say you're running an e-commerce site that runs special deals around the holidays, you might want to think about not using shared hosting because the last thing you want to do is have your website crash during a major shopping season or similar routine operations that bring in high traffic. However, Bluehost does offer plenty of features that I really liked, such as being able to easily scale up your storage or the type of hosting plan you choose. And as I mentioned, the website load times are really, really fast, meaning you most likely will not have to worry about slow loading speeds at all. Plus, I really like that all their plans offer Cloudflare protection, which is software that prevents DDoS attacks, or distributed denial of service, which is basically when attackers and hackers flood your site with a bunch of fake traffic to slow down and prevent it from functioning normally. Attacks like that can wreak absolute havoc on websites every day, causing them to crash. So knowing my hard work is protected gives me some much needed peace of mind. So at the end of the day, there are plenty of web hosting options out there, but if you're looking for something that's easy to manage, offers a solid mix of features, and can actually grow with your site, then I'd say Bluehost is definitely worth checking out. I've found it to be reliable and straightforward, and I really appreciate just how it brings everything together into one place, uh, from domains and email to backups and basic security. And it does make things feel overly complicated. Whether you're just starting out or building something more advanced, it's a platform that makes the process feel a lot less overwhelming. And that's all for this review. I really hope you found this helpful. If you did, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more like this. As a reminder, if you want to get started with Bluehost, then you can use that affiliate link down in the description at no extra cost to get a discount that you won't find if you go directly through their website. Also, if you're interested in working with us or sponsoring a future video, please just reach out using the email in the description below. Now, as always, I really enjoy hearing your thoughts. So go ahead and leave your questions or comments down below, and I'll try to get back to them as fast as I can. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.